Okay, new lost sector for the season. K1 Logistics is dropping uh, exotic, I think, arms today, right? Okay, but if you're looking for anything particular, um, these will rotate every single day between Earth, the Moon, and Europa. So, we have uh, anti-barrier scout and overload rounds for the bow. We want to use the divination. We're going code Dulo and Nightwatch. And I'll go through my build afterwards once, once we go through it, because I kind of want to guide you through what to do at each part because there was a little bit of strategy i'm going top tree void walker on this one with controverse so i can uh, get lots of grenades on things uh namely the champions if i can remember to because i forget a lot of times too but the uh rockets are going to be for champions just like in my previous guides because i want to get rid of the champions as quickly as possible because they are annoying i really miss you it's weird how these guys don't get tracked okay so our first champion is going to be coming up in a second here. He's going to be across the way. Now we want to try to keep him in one spot, the champ, so we can shoot a rocket across. There he is. I just want to keep him there. If we can. Do not move. Don't move. Don't teleport. Don't teleport. Okay, pop your shield. There it is. Okay. Try to hit him with two rockets. Okay, there we go. And we got a war mine cell there. So, oh, we got two war mine cells. That's where the war mine cells come in handy. And we killed four dregs. All right, let's go. Big plays. Top five. Main stage. Kidding. Actually, let's blow up that one, too. There we go. All right, we just caught... All right, so there's an arc... Uh, let me reload my rockets. There's an arc... Uh, knight... O uh, not knight. Captain over there. Now, we obviously can't kill him with solar because... I'm not going to take a shield down, and the night watch is not going to do anything to him. Okay, we want to clear ads first before we tackle him. It's going to be annoying. Actually, I'm just going to hit him with a rocket. Because we don't have a choice. I have five rockets, but hopefully our ammo finders will give us more rockets. Alright, next room we're going to have an overload and a barrier. And solar shanks. Which aren't too bad if you actually miss your shots. I mean, if you don't miss your shots. Why, my name is Benny's McGillcuddy. And as you can see, I've got bomber on. Which means every time I pop my class ability. Oh, there we go. There's some. Alright, there's an overload all the way in the back. Heavy drop down there, so we're good. Where's Mr. Overload Man? I'm not messing with him now because I want to get up close because we're going to have a bunch of shanks and we've got a barrier downstairs. Yeah, because these guys are going to rush you, so I'm not even going to mess with the overload. He's in the back. We want to get that barrier down first. Hopefully you get untethered. The worst part about the... Whoa! Oh, I'm getting out of here. So dead. So dead. Yep. That's fine. Because we will get plenty of revives. Remember guys, it's okay to die. You just... You gotta do it under 15 minutes. And this one you easily can do under 15 minutes. We'll be fine. Oh. Okay. And Still working on the catalyst for this thing. I think you need to get a thousand kills or something with it. Okay, let's get our health back. Alright. Get our bow ammo. Okay, so remember, hits will give us our grenade energy back. Take your shield down. Okay, survey's down. There is ammo finder. I'm, I'm ammo finder. Oh, hold on, is it? Oh, my fell down there. I don't think it did anything. I just want to stun you. I know there's some rock. Uh, I could have sworn there, there's some heavy down there. Two things are heavy, right? No, just one. Bad grenade, Sean. Oh, no, no, no. I think it did hit him. Ideally, what we want to do is stun him, throw a grenade, and then hit him with a rocket. So let me wait. I'll poke out. Usually he will get taken out by that grenade. Yeah. Well, the grenade and the rocket. Make sure you're reloaded. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to have another overload in this hallway. Alright, four minutes, we're good. 
Clear ads. Good. Plenty of ads over there. There's, should be an overload coming up there somewhere. Watch out for that void. Actually, it looks like arc more than anything. A grenade on you. Get you with a rocket and reload just in case I need to. And finish you. There we go. I just go for the finisher just in case he comes out of his stun because it's annoying. There's some ads here. blow this thing up, why not? And we didn't catch anything. Okay. So we're gonna have some, uh, there's gonna be a barrier. There he is. Okay, hold on. We want to try to keep him there and never, never works out that he actually stays over there. Because he's gonna be tethering a bunch of ads. Gonna be hiding. Oh, he's, this guy's so annoying. Yeah, he's gonna hide behind those stupid ads the whole time. Trying to get him out of sight. I mean, out of the, uh... Because we want to use this as our plan of attack, this this little hallway here. Nope, we don't want to do that. I'm gonna throw a grenade on him just to scare him. There it goes. Okay, he's down. Oh, we got five rockets. Okay, so now more ads are spawning in, but we could use our night watch for those guys. They're far away, and they're red bars. Uh, well, but we're going to work on the shanks over here. Oh, he just shot me. Not the servitor. I don't think he can shoot just yet. Ah. Uh. Oh, oh, there's a shank over there. Yeah, the nightmare shanks are beefy. Beefy. You don't have to kill all of them, though, to kill the boss, so you know. But you do want to get rid of them first, because they are annoying. Back, let's get rid of some red bars. Dead. Yeah, see, these two little walls here get annoying. These little barriers, whatever you want to call them. Those are the... Gonna get clipped? Nope. Thank you. Kill that shank? No. Now we're gonna come with another one back there. Okay. There we go. So those are the main nightmare shanks you want to get rid of. The, the other ones are just regular shanks. Okay, let's clear out a few more ads. There's gonna be another arc captain over there somewhere. Where is he? Is there another? Ah, come on, poke out. Oh, we got no ammo. Hold on. There we go. That's another. As soon as the shield comes down, we want to use our Floba. Oh, I want to get some bow ammo. Okay, here he comes. And ads are coming in, so we're going to go back to our little hiding spot. Okay. And there's our hour arc captain. I'm going to try to hit him with a rocket from here. Yep, nice shot. Okay. Another one right here. Don't move. I should be using boss spec on him. I think I'm using boss spec. Booyaka shot. He's dead. Now I'm just gonna rush and get the chest and pray that I don't. Uh, there's a war mine cell over there somewhere. I'm gonna grab it because I don't care if I die. Hey, and we got an exotic, so. Let's get out of here so I could show you the build. Bye bye, guys. Okay, so. So, running Night Watch, run any scout rifle that you like. Uh, I put minor spec to take out the red bars. Uh, the divination. Which you got a hip fire, get him with the arrows, and then aim down sights. Called Dulo, got this from the battlegrounds. This one's got uh, frenzy and also impulse amplifier, so it is absolutely amazing. Love this thing. 
I put boss spec on it for the boss. Uh, normally I put major spec on. Where is my uh, major? Major right there for champs. But with this build, I, th I stun him, throw a grenade on them because I'm using controversial hold where I consume a grenade and uh, it'll overcharge it. So um, to produce the Warmind cells, we're using Wrath of Rasputin. Solar Splash Damage Blows have a chance to create Warmind cells. So that comes in handy with Cold Dulo, uh, the Divination, Skyburners, uh, Sunshot, anything that's solar, especially Skyburners. Uh, I love Skyburners this season. Then on my boots, I go with uh, a Void uh, mod called Cellular Suppression. Damaging a Warmind cell creates a burst of Void energy, but you do less damage to the Warmind cell. Uh, next one is a neutral one. No, actually, it's not. It's Void. Um, hold on. Let's go back here. We have Power of Rasputin. You gain a bonus to weapon damage against enemies that are near Warmind cells. So when you see them glowing, that means that they're standing around a Warmind cell. Um, and by the way, once we get the final mods from... Uh, where the heck am I? Um, once we get the final mods from the helm, I'm going to do a review Tuesday night, guys. Okay, back to their okay, Power of Rasputin we talked about. So on my controverse holds, yeah, you resist damage from when you're charging your void grenades. Um, uh, and I use Warmind's protection. You take reduced damage from enemies that are near Warmind cells. And again, you'll see them glowing when they're... You'll see the enemies glowing if they're near a Warmind cell. So I would try to have a few void pieces of armor if you can. And then this one here for a goof, I just put on collecting or destroying a Warmind cell. Will give a concussive blast that will push them away. So that that actually comes in pretty handy. So try to have at least one arc and a couple of void and wrath of respute, and you have to have something solar to put it on. Um, and that's pretty much it for the build. For the hunter, uh, I would say go either maybe stasis to freeze things. Uh, but if you're doing warmind cells, you want to go solar. I don't know. I would say. Goldie Gun with Celestial Nighthawks probably going to one-shot the boss, or at least it does in the 1300 Lost Sector from my guide yesterday. Uh, for Titans, uh, I don't play much on the Titan, guys. Uh, let me know in the comment section. I'm going to say maybe Hammers, maybe Stasis. Uh, I'm trying to think of a super you could use against the boss. Maybe Hammers. Um, not the Stasis super because that server is in the air. Uh, you could use, no, no, use Code of the Missile. Yeah, and if you have the new exotic chess piece, Code of the Missile. All right, that's it for the video, guys. Let me get old hashtag made it to the end. If you did make it to the end, and do me a favor, drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at Mesa Sean. Check out my stream. Usually, you know, it's on YouTube, and that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir. And let me know if you want to keep doing these guides on the updated versions of all the lost sectors. I did all the moon ones now, and um, I did one of the... Europa one's revamped, and I'll keep doing them if you guys want me to, to keep doing them. All right, I'll see you guys.